All right. Well, we did it. We um we survived 2019. So this is my first video in 2020. And this is also my first Gmod FNAF video that I'm recording without my wisdom teeth. Um, if you don't know, I got my wisdom teeth taken out on December 30th, 2019. Um, so, yeah. Um, if I'm kind of quiet or kind of not talking or more energetic as normally, that's why is because I got my teeth taken out. Um, but there's been so much stuff since I, since I got my wisdom teeth taken out, a bunch of add-ons have been pumped out onto the Gmod Workshop and, um, I want to try to be able to cover them as quick as possible. So, um, yeah, um, I decided to start off with uh, one add-on. It was one of the first ones that kind of came out um, on my list because now I have a list again of add-ons that I need to review. So for these first two videos, it'll just be add-on reviews, but that's okay. Um, it's still something. So um, we're here, 2020. Um, yeah get this chair out of here it's not important um so i decided to start off with having my first video of 2020 being my review on the new ignited ragdolls so now there is proper ignited ragdolls out on the workshop i'm pretty sure this is done by mr springtrap or ported over by mr springtrap or something um i don't know if these are the official models from the game or what but these guys look pretty cool um, I don't know a whole lot about these models, if he modeled them himself, or if these are just, um, other models with the, uh, Joy of Creation skins. Um, but these guys do look really cool. Um, they do have the, uh, purple light texture, but we can easily fix that if you just take the, uh, F Phantom Animatronics eye texture and stuff to fix that glow effect. Um, but here is Phantom, not Phantom, I'm a Ignited Freddy. Um, so here's Ignited Freddy, again, I know I'm gonna sound kinda weird for a few, for the next few videos in 2020, just, again, cause I got my wisdom teeth taken out, so, for about a week, I'm gonna sound kind of like, um, kinda like this, kind of, yeah, it's, it's gonna be a fun week. Um, but hey, it doesn't matter cause we got Mr. Ignited Fred Boy, who's gonna make all of our dreams happier. Um, and also let me know if I should start using these ignited ragdolls instead of my other ignited ragdolls because those ones did get kind of broken, sort of. Well, let's see. Hang on. Where's my ignited Freddy? I know my ignited Freddy ragdoll should still work right here. This dude. Um, so this is the ignited Freddy that I've been normally been using. Um, but as you can see, there is somewhat of a difference here because this is like a proper ignited freddy ragdoll while well, this one is just a, a pill pack effect with bone merge so um this is like a more proper ragdoll so let me know if i should um start using these newer mo um ignited models instead of these old ones for 2020 you know 2020 might as well start changing things up i'll probably start using the um team fnaf vr animatronics from now on too instead of the other ones because those other ones are kind of a pain to kind of fix so um, I'll probably start using the team. Uh, I'll start. I'll probably start using these FNAF One ragdolls as my main FNAF One ragdolls from now on in 2020, just to change things up a bit. Um, but yeah, so here's Ignite Freddy. I'm really loving his look. He looks great. Um, I actually really like this model, and I really do love the ignited animatronics. And fun fact: um, a video that I did. Of making the ignited animatronics in Minecraft of the Joy of Creation Reborn is one of my most popular videos. I think it's my second most popular video. Yeah, it should be. I think it's my second most popular video is making the ignited animatronics in Minecraft. So um, that's pretty cool. And then on the list, um, it's under the I section. And there is a link in the description to these ragdolls if you want to go check them out for yourself. As you can see, there's lots more. Um, in this pack, there's also Golden Freddy and Springtrap, which we're going to get to eventually. But let's go on to Ignited Bonnie. Um, which, again, I could start using this Bonnie instead of my other Bonnie in Ignited Bonnie's Adventure. Because, um, again, like I said before, um, when I did my Christmas video, I said that my Ignited Bonnie ragdoll got, like, corrupted. Because the, um, if y'all, which I did say whenever I made my ragdoll video 
of 2019 spawn as many ragdolls as possible. Um, let's see, where are the FNAF 2 ragdolls? Um, doop 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 doop. Um, okay, these ragdolls, where are they? They should be right here. These ragdolls. So you have these unwithered ragdolls, and then you have these withered ragdolls. But then there was a enchanted version of the withered ragdolls, um, but those got deleted. So that kind of corrupted my ignited ragdolls, except for Freddy and Golden Freddy. Um, but it messed up my ignited Foxy, my ignited Chica, and my ignited Bonnie. Um, but this is actually cool that now we actually have some proper ignited ragdolls. So again, I might have a straw poll or something if y'all want me to start using these new ignited models in my ignited series. Or if I should just go back and try to use the old ones if possible. Um, but I really am liking these new ignited models and it can help change things up a bit. So um, yeah. Um, so here's Ignited Bonnie. As you can see he's missing his ear. He's got his big old hand. He's gonna give you a big old high five. Well, I don't know why his thumb. His thumb though is kind of off. But uh, that's okay. He's just gonna give you a bigger high five. Is that, is, that, is that how his hand's supposed to be? I think his hand's supposed to be the other way around. Hang on. If that's his thumb. Then that's a high five right there. There we go. Now he's going to give you a high five. Instead of punching it's this Ignited Bonnie, instead of him punching you in his punching instead of him punching you in the face, he's going to give you a high five cuz he's like, "Hey man, we're bros. It's 2020. Um I I got new look and um I be cool now." So, yeah. And next up we have his Ignited Chica, which a lot of y'all guys a lot of you guys really like and I don't even know if I can do Ignited Chica's voice right now since I have my wisdom teeth out. Um, I can try. It'll probably hurt me, but whatever. Um, cranberries! I need the cranberries! Um, oh my gosh, that's terrible. I can't really do the voice too well. Um, I gotta get the cranberries. Hey, Mr. Ignited Bonnie, where's my cranberries? I need my cranberries! Yeah, um, it's, <laughs> it's not really working out too well, um, for the voice right there. But, uh, hopefully, after a week, have... After a week when my mouth starts actually feeling better, um, I can actually do voices again properly. Because um, as you can you can probably definitely tell that there's a bit of a different tone in my voice. Like, I'm completely fine. Um, it's just because, like, now that I don't have my wisdom teeth in my mouth, there's, like, an empty gap in my mouth. So, um, it's still taking time to get used to this and stuff. But, uh, hey, it's still me. I'm still the same old bird. I might be slightly different. And I might have a slightly different voice, but I'm still here. Um, so yeah, there's, there's Ignited Chica, everybody. Um, still the cranberry lover in, um, 2020, even though Ignited Chica's never had any cranberries, and neither have I in real life. That's a fun fact. Um, yeah, that, that, sh I should try to get some sometimes, so that way I can scrumch down on them and taste their true deliciousness. Um, but yeah, so there's, um, Ignited Bonnie and Ignited Chica. Again, I know a lot of y'all really like the Ignited's, um... Because at the end of twenty, at the end of twenty eighteen, in December of at the end of twenty eighteen, not nineteen but eighteen, I did my ignited versus Billy video, and a lot of y'all really like that, and a lot of y'all really like my ignited Bonnie's adventure, um, series. So I think I'm gonna actually try to bring back ignited Bonnie's adventure, and then we also had the uh, series of ignited Freddy and ignited Foxy on the sidelines, um, which I can also try to work out and stuff too, but uh. So let me know if y'all want to see all that stuff too. But uh, here's um, here's Ignited Foxy here. Um, so yeah, here he is, and he's looking pretty cool. Um, so here's the new Ignited Foxy model right here. He's looking really dope. Again, I'm re I really do love these um, new Ignited Ragdolls slash models. Because um, I don't know, these models actually just look really cool. Like, I'm really... It's really cool to be able to see all these models in Gmod and stuff. So, um, yeah, but here's Ignited Foxy. Ye, um, ye, wait, Yar says that's says the fox, and he doesn't even have his eye patch. That's a nice detail. Did Ignited Foxy ever have his eye patch in the Joy of Creation or in the Joy of Creation story mode? Wait, I just realized their eyes are indented. Wait, look at that. See, like, look at the eyes. The eyes are indented. Ooh, okay. I didn't know that. That's actually really cool. That's a nice detail. I just I just noticed that the eyes are like indented, like the main white circle. The eyes indented. 
That's really cool. Okay, I don't know how the eye texture could work then for that, but uh, it's probably fine. I don't mind it being purple right now. Um, but again, you got Night Foxy who also wants to give you a mighty high five right here. And again, he's got that one awkward thumb, but hey, that's that's a okay because he's Night Foxy. He's like, I don't care if my thumbs are awkward. I just care if you be my friend. And also, if you play Gary's mod, um, but a. Uh, yeah, again, these guys, there will be a link in the description if you want to go check out these guys for yourself. And while you're down there, you could leave a nice little like on this video to help um, to help support me and get this video spread out to other people. And uh, you could also subscribe if you want to. Um, but without further ado, let's move on to Ignited Golden Freddy. And we'll put him over here by Freddy for a comparison. So, um, Ignited Golden Freddy is the exact same as Ignited Freddy, but he has like a Golden Freddy texture. Um, from the game because he is in the Joy of Creation story mode. Um, I don't know if Ignite Golden Freddy was in Joy of Creation Reborn or not. Like maybe he, I don't know if he was like a background character because I know in Joy of Creation Reborn there was Ignited Bonnie in the woods um, that would stalk you if you were playing on Freddy's level and stuff. But I know for a fact Ignite Golden Freddy was in the Joy of Creation story mode, which I haven't played the Joy of Creation story mode. So if you only play the Joy of Creation story mode sometime. I'll definitely do so. I have played um, Joy of Creation Reborn, and I fully beat Joy of Creation Reborn, but I've never tried out Joy of Creation Story Mode, because I'm honestly terrified of it, because um, Joy of Creation Story Mode is like one of the hardest FNAF fan games, which I've heard of, um, but I've never tried it for myself, so let me know if y'all want me to if y'all want me to try out the Joy of Creation Story Mode. Um, but yeah, here's Ignite like, Golden Freddy. Again, the Freddies don't have hands, um, and they don't have their lower jaw, but they do have their lower endo jaw. So, um, that's pretty neat. Um, and then without further ado, we have Ignited Springtrap, which Ignited Springtrap is actually, uh, I'm pretty sure he's not in the Joy of Creation story mode, but he's in the uh, Joy of Creation Reborn Halloween edition, um, which I haven't played that, um, either. Um, I've only played Joy of Creation Reborn, I haven't played the Halloween edition or story mode, um, but the Halloween edition is, is basically you're in Fazbear's Fright and um, you have Ignited Springtrap right here who doesn't have a uh, lower jaw and um, he comes after you in Fazbear's Fright and you have to break all these pipes and burn the place down and stuff before Mr. Ignited Springo Man gets you. So um, that's all I really know about him because again I haven't played Joy of Creation Halloween edition. Let me know if y'all want me to also play that game as well. Um, during 20, 2020, I want to try out doing a lot of different things. I want to try playing more fan games. I want to try doing more Gmod videos, more role plays, and also even more animations to come. Um, cause a lot of y'all really did like no more strings, which I haven't really worked on that in a while. So I want to also try doing that some more in 2020 and just doing animation songs as well for fun. So I have a lot of big projects planned for 2020 and, um, yeah, got lots of work to do. Um, but we're starting off slow with these amazing, beautiful, ignited ragdolls. So again, I really, if you do have Gary's Mod, I highly suggest you go get these ragdolls. Um, there's a link in the description. These guys look amazing, and I love them so, so much. And a like would be appreciated. Again, you don't have to like the video, but it would mean a lot to me if you did, because that helped me out a lot. And um, that would also maybe help me feel better. Um, about my teeth not being here with me because uh, you know I had to get my wisdom teeth taken out and I'm still recording this video um, like two days after I got my wisdom teeth taken out so um that's lovely um, but uh, yeah so uh, hopefully 2020 will be a, um, a great year um, I don't know if whew, so well that's pretty much everybody I don't know do they have body groups they do have body groups okay so with these um with these uh, ignited uh, animatronic ragdolls, um, if you right click on them and go to body groups, you can change their head so their eyes become red. Um, so that's cool. Can you do it with Golden Freddy? Their eyes become red. Again, um, you can't do it with Ignited Bonnie because he doesn't really have, but he does have eyes, but he doesn't have the phantom eyes like everyone else. Um, I don't know if they're supposed to be red because um, I remember when doing the uh, FNAF AR special delivery ragdolls, um, their eyes would be like here let me go find it real quick FNAF it's somewhere in here uh dupe 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 I passed it it's up here actually um I lied it's not down there it's up here 
Um, Five Nights at Freddy's AR Ragdolls. So here we have, actually no, let me spawn in Spring Trap. Spring Trap's a much better example. So here as, hey, you wanna, you wanna not freak out, mister? Um, so for FNAF AR Spring Trap, if you go to his skins and uh, see how his eyes are purple and uh, pink and stuff, I think they're supposed to go white, I think, and red. So I think, or maybe they're supposed to be pink. I don't know, because I know these guys got updated recently. Um, so they're more fixed. Then we have Frost Freddy here. Um, oh, you can now take away his ice crystal. Ooh, okay, I didn't know that. Um, can you do anything with Twitchika now? Um, you can do that, uh, and then take away the cupcake now. Okay. Oh, okay, that's just a nice little side add-on thing right there. Um, but I know sometimes, again, with the glow effect in Gary's mod with some add-ons. I don't, again, I don't know if it's just for me. Um, uh, I don't know if people have found a solution to this, and I just haven't found out the solution to it yet for around the glow, purple texture glow fix. Um, so, I don't know if it's just me or what. Um... But yeah, all right. Let's get back on over to these ignited ragdolls. A B C D E F G H I ignited ragdolls. Um, but yeah, okay. And it looked like Spring Trap right here had some more options, so you can uh, change his head. So if you have here, let's do head one. So head one is Spring Trap's normal head, and then if you change it to head two, it actually has the muzzle of Spring Trap, like. How Spring Bonnie, like, people argue over Spring Bonnie if he has, like, a, um, if he has, like, a, uh, different texture muzzle. Like, let's take Freddy, for example. So, you see how Freddy has, like, a dark brown for his main head, and then for, like, his muzzle, he has, like, a lighter brown, like, his belly. Um, and then some people argue over Spring Trap because they're like, well, Spring Trap's whole head, including his muzzle, is just one solid color. So, does that mean Spring Bonnie, um, doesn't have, like, a different color muzzle? But uh, if you want him to have a different color muzzle, like if you think that's how he should be, you can change his head to head two. And then I think right here, if, uh, let's see, head wired. What's that? Um, does that just do wires? Ah, okay, it does. Okay, so see on the sides of his head, he doesn't have any wires. I don't know if Ignited Springtrap has wires sticking out of his head or not, but you can actually change it if you go to the second one. Well, to this third option, you can have his wires stick out of his head like normal Springtrap does. Um, and then you also have the head two version of it where it has the different color muzzle, which I think that's a really cool option in this. Um, and then you can uh, add to the body. So you, there's a body feature right here, which I think that adds to the endoskeleton right here. Um, okay, again, I think that's for like regular spring trap, like going back to having a normal spring trap right here because it adds these, uh, it adds wires. Okay, that's what it is. It's uh, the animatronic wires inside the body. So you can customize if you want the wires in or not. And then there's a second one right here where you can uh, give him a bow tie if you want. Ooh, it's a green bow tie. Or you could um, do a different type of bow tie like that. That's a pretty interesting type of bow tie right there. I like how it's uh, green and stuff. But uh, if you wanted to make it purple like Spring Bonnie or make it black, you can always use the um, submaterial tool. Well, not the sub. Well, that is that's the paint tool. Wrong tool. You can use the um, submaterial tool right here and uh bow tie bam he has like a black bow tie if you wanted to make him like that um have that or if you could get a spring bonnie ragdoll out and stuff and take his texture for a purple bow tie if you wanted to um but i think the green bow tie does look pretty cool in there there's the green bow tie with the shine and the one without the shine which i just made a black bow tie but uh yeah that's pretty cool and then you have his arms so with the arms i think that's also more endoskeleton parts um, yeah, or it just changes the, uh, textures up some, I think. Yeah, it changes the textures of the, uh, endoskeleton arms. So you can have his arms just like that texture for the endoskeleton. Like, changes the, uh, the rings of the arms. But if you can do it, but that's default right there with him like that. But then, if you change it up, it actually looks more, um, plain. Plainer if you wanted to do that. I think that's the right word, and I don't even know. And I think it's going to be the same with the legs. No, okay, with the legs, it's wires. Okay, so if you want to, you can also add wires to the um, to the legs. So add some like nice little wire in right here if you wanted to as well. So I like how there is that option for the wires and stuff like that for uh, Mr. Ignited Spring Trap here and stuff. Um, I would do um, I would do a role play in this video, but again, I don't want to push myself. 
Um, this video has already been 20 minutes long, and I think that's a pretty nice, decent length video. Because um, I know sometimes y'all don't like me doing really long videos. Some of y'all like short videos, and some of y'all like really long videos. Um, but I think I'm going to keep this video nice and simple, just so that way I don't push myself. Um, again, since I have my wisdom teeth out. So, um, the videos are going to kind of go like, just like how this one's going for a while until my wisdom, well, until my mouth fully heals from my wisdom teeth. So, again, when I'm doing this, it's only like day three of having my teeth out. So, um, yeah. Um, anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Again, a like would, I would appreciate it if y'all did leave a like on this video. Um, cause again, it's being a bit of a. I'm going through some trouble recording this. I don't have to record this video. I could take a break if I wanted to, um, since my wisdom teeth are out and stuff, but I decided to power on through um, just for y'all, just to show off these Ignite animatronics. And there is so many more um, add-ons and stuff too that have come out too, so I'm going to try my best to uh, record those too and uh, inform y'all about that. But I am getting better, and uh, hopefully I continue to keep getting better. And uh, hopefully 2020 will be an amazing year um, for all of us. So, um, yeah. Um, again, um, I'll try. If I remember, I'll leave a straw poll. If y'all want me to start using these new models. Um, or if y'all want me to use the old models. And if I don't have, a, if I forget to put a straw poll up, you can just leave a comment. If you want me to start using these new Ignited models. Or try to continue with my old models that I used to use um, in the past years. Um, I think that's pretty much it for this video. So, um, also again, let me know if y'all want me to play the Joy of Creation story mode, um, because I haven't played the Joy of Creation story mode. I have played the Joy of Creation Reborn. Um, you can, if you go on my channel and search it up, you can probably go find that video if you want to go watch that for yourself, or I might even put it in the card system if I remember. Um, because this year with 2020, I want to try to be more organized on videos and with the card system. It's just instead of just having random videos and stuff and make it more organized and stuff. So, um, the card system is the little eye in the top right corner of your screen. If you click on that, there should be some straw polls and some videos and stuff like that in there. Um, so again, let me know if y'all want me to do the, play the George Creation story mode and also the George Creation uh, Reborn Halloween edition. Um, but again, I've already play, played the uh, George Creation Reborn normal game so um yeah and uh let me know if there's any fan games in the description y'all want me to check out and uh y'all already know it, and i'm sure some of y'all know about some new add-ons that have come out so let me know also in the comments which ones y'all want me to review next for my next video and if there's any fan games that y'all want me to play or any other games that y'all want me to try out for 2020 uh, i'm gonna try to be more open and stuff to y'all um about doing stuff and uh trying to do what y'all want me to do. So um, I think this will be a great year. Um, but yeah. So again, hopefully I'll get better. And hopefully as each video goes by, I'll hopefully start talking more clearly. Um, hopefully. Um, but uh, yeah. So anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Um, I'll s so yeah. Um, again, a like would be appreciated. Subscribing would be awesome. Um, but again, I'm not forcing you to, so do it if you feel like it. So I won't force y'all today. Um, uh, but yeah, all right. I won't keep y'all any longer. I think I've rambled on long enough. Um, again, check out these guys in the description. Links in the description to these guys. So go check them out while you can. And, uh, yeah. So anyways, I'm going to end this video here. I know I rambled on a, for so long, but I'll end it here. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope y'all did enjoy it. And I will see y'all in my next video. Goodbye. Uh...